Thank you, David. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity now to tell you how the £54 million bus corridor is going to actually help us transform the Oxford Road area of the city. The partnership has a very strong vision for the future of the corridor, as we, we like to call it, uh, that it is going to be a, a global exemplar of knowledge-based growth, the place in the world where we can see how knowledge is put to work. This vision and ambition is based on, on very real uh, achievements, as these slides illustrate. And by 2020, we expect that the number of people employed in the corridor will almost double, and the contribution to the GVA of the city will almost double. So no mean feat. The uniqueness of this area of the city was brought home to me recently when the CEO of a multinational global clinical trials company, who we hope will be one of the tenants of our Royal Eye Hospital project, told me that there are only two places in the world that offer his company the locational advantage that Oxford Road has. And that's based on the academic research excellence and the clinical expertise at the hospital. Those two things together provide this unique advantage and really are the basis for a lot of our ambition for, for future growth. <coughs> he did also mention that compared with Asia, Manchester's an expensive place to locate, but he wants to be here. So I think we can take a lot of heart from that. Back to the bus corridor. It does, of course, provide greatly improved access accessibility to a key employment site in the city. But it also is a fantastic opportunity for change, to create a place that really reflects the potential of the area, to provide a very fitting home for our strong cultural institutions, including, we hope, in due course, the Royal Opera House, and to make it a place for people to invest, for talent to come, and for businesses to start up. Sadly, at the moment, it's known as the bu busiest bus route in Europe, and that isn't a tag that we want to have. Even those parts of the infrastructure that do have some merit, like the Mancunian Way, which was award-winning in its time, and is still considered a beautiful structure by some people, as you can see, very hidden, dirty, and neglected. But places of, like this do have great potential, this is a slide from just down the road in Nice, and I think gives us an, an idea of what we can try to emulate in the corridor. So, looking at the potential of the GMPT scheme for us, we do see it as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to tr transform the Oxford Road area. We will have a largely carless environment along the Oxford Road, it will be green and clean and safe, providing good access for work, leisure and study. The Oxford Road will look and feel like a completely different place, a place for major investment in key strategic sites such as the BBC, the University of Manchester North Campus and Manchester Science Park. And we want to see space created in those places which will provide the homes for 21st century businesses in the biomedical, creative, digital, and low carbon sectors. We have already managed to secure a package of funding of 5.1 million pounds from a combination of our partners and the Northwest Development Agency. And already this year, we are starting to deliver considerable public realm improvements in First Street the area around Grosvenor Square and outside the Whitworth building. And these schemes will set a benchmark for quality in the public realm that we want to see in time across the whole of the corridor. So it's a very exciting year for us to actually see major change happening on the ground. And finally, the transport scheme also provides an opportunity for us to align investment in smart technology with the transport scheme. As the road is dug up, we want it only dug up once. 
and we will install monitoring equipment and, and a smart grid linked to the next generation broadband access that I'm sure you're all familiar with. Uh, this will create Manchester's living low carbon laboratory. We have a great deal of excitement from researchers and also from private sector businesses who want to use this infrastructure in this unique urban environment to develop new products and applications for our low carbon future. This is a Manchester first, another Manchester first, and I think a really important contribution to Manchester's place as a leading world city. Thank you very much.